We are familiar with the concept of symmetry in case of two port networks and following that concept we obtained the condition for symmetry and the condition is Vs over I1 when I2 is equal to 0 should be equal to Vs over I2 when I1 is equal to 0. Now in order to have the left hand side we will connect one voltage source providing the voltage Vs between the two terminals of port number 1 and we will open circuit port number 2 and then we will calculate the ratio of excitation to the response Vs is the excitation and I1 is the response and I2 equal to 0 signifies that port number 2 is open circuited and this is the defined circuit condition. Now we want the right hand side and for that we will take the same two port network and the same voltage source but this time we will connect the voltage source between the two terminals of port number 2 and we will open circuit port number 1 and then we will calculate the ratio of excitation to the response. Excitation will be Vs and this time response will become I2. And I1 equal to 0 signifies port number 1 is open circuited and this is the defined circuit condition. Now using this we will find out the condition for symmetry in terms of Z parameters. And we will first write down the set of equations we have in case of Z parameters. We know equation number 1 is V1 equal to parameter Z11 multiplied to current I1 plus parameter Z12 multiplied to current I2. And uh, let's say this is equation number 1 and equation number 2 is V2 equal to parameter Z21 multiplied to I1 plus parameter Z22 multiplied to current I2 and let's say this is equation number 2. Now when you focus on the left hand side of the condition you will find voltage V1 is equal to the source voltage Vs and we know current I2 is equal to 0. This is the defined circuit condition and now with these two we will modify our equation number 1 and we will have Vs equal to Z11 multiplied to current I1. So we can say that the ratio Vs over I1 when current I2 is equal to 0 is equal to parameter Z11. Now we will focus on the right hand side of the condition and we can see that voltage V2 is equal to the source voltage Vs and we know the defined circuit condition is I1 equal to 0 and with these two we will modify our equation number 2. We will have Vs equal to Z22 multiplied to current I2 and hence the ratio Vs over I2 when I1 is equal to 0 will be equal to parameter Z22 and therefore we finally have the condition parameter Z11 should be equal to parameter Z22. Remember this condition it is very important the parameter Z11 should be equal to the parameter Z22 for the two port network to be symmetrical. Now with the help of this condition we will find out the condition for symmetry in terms of Y parameters and uh, we have already performed the conversion of Y parameters to Z parameters and therefore we know that parameter Z11 is equal to parameter Y22 divided by the determinant of admittance matrix and we know that parameter Z22 is equal to parameter Y11 divided by the determinant of admittance matrix. 
now from this condition and from these two results we can say that parameter y22 when divided by the determinant should be equal to parameter y11 divided by the determinant for the symmetry of the two port network or we can say that parameter y11 should be equal to parameter y22 so this is the condition for symmetry in terms of y parameters remember this condition and now we will find out the condition for symmetry in terms of h parameters and uh, we know parameter z11 is equal to the determinant of hybrid parameters matrix divided by parameter h22 and we know parameter z22 is equal to 1 over parameter h22 therefore we can say that the determinant divided by h22 must be equal to 1 over h22 and finally we have the determinant of h parameters matrix should be equal to 1 so this is the condition for symmetry in terms of h parameters now let us find out the condition for symmetry in terms of g parameters and uh, we know that parameter z11 is equal to 1 over parameter g11 and parameter z22 is equal to the determinant of g parameters matrix divided by g11 and therefore we can say that 1 over g11 should be equal to the determinant divided by g11 for the symmetry of the network and finally we will have the determinant of g parameters matrix should be equal to 1 and when this happens we can say that the two port network is a symmetrical network and finally we will obtain the condition for symmetry in terms of a b c d parameters we know that parameter z11 is equal to parameter a divided by parameter c and we know that parameter z22 is equal to parameter d divided by parameter c and therefore we can say that a over c must be equal to d over c and finally we are having parameter a must be equal to parameter d so this is the condition for symmetry in terms of a b c d parameters so remember all these conditions and now i will end this lecture here see you in the next one